reading a story called The King of Kindergarten. Do you see him? I wonder if you are a king or a queen of kindergarten. Let's read and find out. This story, the author, the person who wrote the words of the story, is Derek Barnes. And the illustrator, the person who drew the pictures, is Vanessa Brantley Newton. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. See the sun like a crown? You'll use a golden brush to clean ye royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll hand dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far-off villages of Oshkosh and Bigosh. You'll be ready to reign. My baby is heading to school, Mommy will say during breakfast. But you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're growing up so fast, Daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I? You'll say, one day I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress called school. There he is. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember mommy saying, hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile. For you are the king of kindergarten. See his crown? Your teacher will welcome you with a warm and friendly smile. Good morning! She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. Says, welcome to kindergarten. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your table will wave and say hi like they've been waiting on you all summer long. So you'll smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful, hi everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over classroom rules. He did that too. And you will all discuss important matters, such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never-ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Woo! It sounds like a lot, but you are the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. <gasps> they look like they're having some fun. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have hand-picked your favorite chocolate pudding with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say, thanks, and you won't mind at all, because what could be cooler than sharing with your new friends? After a royal rest, you'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. 
The day will be one you will never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends, my teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever! And tomorrow, it will begin again. Another day, as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind king of kindergarten. I think he had a pretty good first day of kindergarten. What do you think? Now, our first day of kindergarten had some of these things, but maybe not all of them because we weren't here in person yet. But I bet you are doing a pretty wonderful job ruling your kingdom of kindergarten as well.